You know, you'd probably think um, of Atlanta not really as a spot to get a good lobster roll, probably right? Probably not. Probably not. Atlanta News first anchor Lana Harris, though, found five delicious spots that will make you change your mind in this week's Atlanta Eats. You know when you're online and something stops you in your track because it looks so good? That's how we ended up here at BK Lobster. In fact, get in here. Look at this food. Mm -hmm. I mean, it, it's, it, there's nothing more gratifying than seeing something that looks amazing and then coming here and seeing it somehow looks even better. It does. They call this seafood with soul food flavor. Okay, so you know it's seasoned. So we're going to get into all this in just a second. But first, Joey Weiss with Atlanta Eats is here to talk about five of the top spots to get an amazing lobster roll here in Atlanta. And you're going to start off with The Optimist. Yes, The Optimist is really the Atlanta's platonic ideal. It's got everything that you expect in a lobster roll, but you know, they just dial everything up to 11. It's just you know, lobster served cold on a brioche bun with some dill seasoning and a couple other great things like that. So, you know, if you actually watch the chef show on Netflix, you can see Tom Holland, who plays Spider-Man, tries his very first lobster roll. I think he gets off to a good start. Oh, wow, okay, awesome. So then you got Girl Diver on your list. Yeah, Girl Diver is a Vietnamese restaurant over in Reynolds Town. So you almost don't expect a lobster roll there, but you try it, it's got some pickled green chilies on there that really elevates it with a cool Asian fusion flavor in there. So mm. it's not like any other lobster roll that you're going to try. Okay, and then you put Max Rawbar on the list. Yeah, so Max Rawbar, they only serve their lobster roll on Tuesdays. So oh. next time you go to Marietta, make sure it's on a Tuesday, but right. all their seafood <laughs> is fresh with a capital F. Everything has only been out of the water for about 48 hours by the time it gets to Max, so you know that that lobster is going to be some really fresh stuff. That's insane. Yeah. Okay, <laughs> and then somewhere we've been before, Atlanta Fish Market. Yeah, Atlanta Fish Market, so they nail everything in the seafood realm, so of course the lobster roll is in that seafood realm, Obviously. and they nail that as well. So get some sushi, get some of the you know, teriyaki salmon, but make sure you save some room for a lobster roll. Nice dessert. <laughs> dessert of a lobster roll. Yeah. Love that. Okay, finally, we are here at BK Lobster. These look incredible. They, they look incredible, and I have reason to believe they're going to taste incredible, but so many lobster rolls, like a lot of the ones I talked about, they're served cold. There, there's, you know, usually it's just poached lobster yeah. cut up in a, like a, a white sauce, but you look here and obviously none of that is your typical lobster roll. Yeah. So, you know, we've got the BK sauce roll that has their fav famous Cajun sauce. You've got the jumbo dumbo, just, I think the name speaks for itself. Oh, yeah. Look how large that <laughs> thing is. Then you've got the Bay Ridge, a switch of Italian seasoning and some peppers. And you've of course got the Flatbush, the Jamaican influence one. You've got some jerk sauce right here and it just looks and smells so good. Some fried shrimp, because we were about to go hungry if we didn't have that <laughs> on the table. And fortunately, Melvin, the franchisee for the Midtown BK Lobster is here to tell us a little bit more. I think while we're listening, we need to treat ourselves to Obviously some shrimp. To get some shrimp yeah. A little appetizer. <laughs> restaurant is BK Lobster. The BK stands for Brooklyn. So the theme is every uh, lobster roll that we have has a Brooklyn neighborhood name. So there are 10 different rolls that we have that you can't get anywhere else. As far as other lobster roll places, we are the, I would say, least expensive. We have the best shrimp in the city. We also have wings, we have quesadillas, we have lobster mac and cheese. This actually blew my expectations. Yeah. I, I didn't expect it to be that good. Yeah, the fried shrimp is amazing, but it's this sauce, the BK sauce that takes it to the next level, so you've got to try that in the BK sauce roll. Okay. I'm going to go here. I, I just love jerk so much. Mm. It's so flavorful. I've never had a lobster roll anywhere near that. And now okay. We wanted to try multiple of these to really give you guys an oh, idea of what ooh, this is. You are going for and it. Apparently, I gotta eat this whole thing whole. It's how you're supposed to do it. Well, let me know if you need a spotter. You're, you're lifting <laughs> some heavy weights there. Mm. Oh, is, man. Is that amazing? Okay, I lived in New England for 11 years. And I'm, I'm also a vegan, but I'm impressed with that. I, I just, every time I watch these, I'm like, she's doing the hard work for the people. Thank you, Lana, I know, for doing the heavy thank you for lifting. working so hard. And also, I go into those stories not that hungry. I come out of them and very like, hungry, like drooling. mouth watering. <laughs> Ella, I know you probably can get down with some seafood. Uh, I can get down with everything that is ever in that segment that Lana puts up. I swear, <laughs> it all looks so good.